Hello and welcome to your A-Level Business Studies induction session. My name is Mr Lee. I'm the lead teacher for business here at the college. Uh, the other members of the department are Mr Brown uh, and Mrs Challoner. And uh, over the next few slides, the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the course, what to expect um, and, uh, and next steps. We're going to have a go at a couple of activities uh, that you can get involved with. Um, and I hope you find this is a useful session. It's very different to the sort of session that we would normally have. We'd love to have you all together in a room um, and see you face to face and meet you as a group. But hopefully we'll be able to do that very soon. Um, just before we move on, the aims of the Business Studies Department are very clear. It's all about enabling you to achieve the grade that you need to move forward towards employment, but also to become a young business-like and professional young person. Um, I'll talk to you a bit more about being business-like and professional um, as we go through this session. So just a little bit about the A-Level business course and how it's structured and how it works. Um, it's a two year A-Level in business. Um, it's assessed entirely by exams at the end of two years. There are three exam papers. Each one is, is a two hour paper and each is representative of a third of the marks for the course. The key areas that we study are business objectives and strategy, strategic decision making in business. Uh, we look at external influences facing businesses. Um, that's all of the stuff that's related to the economy. Um, we look at markets and marketing, marketing strategies. Um, that's all the stuff to do with how the business communicates uh, and sells its products uh, to its customers. We look at operational strategy, how business is organised to be able to run as efficiently as it possibly can. We look at human resources. That's all the stuff to do with the people in a business, um, hiring people, training people, uh, paying, remunerating people to get the best out of them. And unfortunately, sometimes firing them too. Um, so we look at all of those sorts of topics and we also uh, look at accounting and financial considerations. So that's all the stuff to do with money in a business, um, how a business works to make a profit and not make a loss um, to ensure that it's managing its money in the best way that it possibly can. Um, and we also look at business in a global context. Um, so we look at um, the, the big businesses the famous global brands that you'll have heard of like Nike and Apple and how they operate on a global scale and how that's different to, uh, to smaller and medium sized businesses. I think you've made a fantastic choice in choosing to study A-level business. As a subject, um, it's something that you can take to higher education. Uh, it will really help you in your future career. Uh, it's the sort of thing that can uh, set you apart from uh, other young people when you go into the world of work. Um, on the screen now, you can see a list of some of the transferable skills that you'll learn on a business course. And they're really uh, varied, really wide ranging. I'm just going to talk through a, a, a few of them now. Um, so first of all, it will um, the course will help you to understand how businesses and organisations operate. Uh, that can be really useful for you and your future. It can help you to really slot in in the world of work uh, when you go out after your A-levels or after your, your further study into the world of work. Um, you'll really have an insight into how businesses are operating and that will help you to slot in much easier than students who haven't studied this sort of course. It will help you with your communication skills. So you'll th learn things like presentation skills, um, uh, how to write formally and informally, um, how, to, uh, how to write business-like documents. It'll help you with your analytical and critical thinking, problem solving, help you to make decisions and become a better decision maker, um, help you with logical thinking, um, I mentioned already that we learn about presentation skills and report writing is part of that. Um, we'll do lots of activities that help to build those sorts of skills. Uh, business is great for helping to build your numeracy, particularly in terms of business, uh, looking at things like how to inter interpret financial data and financial information. 
Um, it will teach you about self-motivation and um, taking the initiative and effective time management um, that will help you to become this young professional and business like person that we're going to talk a bit more about later on. Um, you'll also learn about managing projects um, and resource management, um, how to run a project and, and, and take a lead sometimes. Um, and it'll also give you a close understanding of um, some topics will, which will uh, open your eyes to the way that our world works. So, for example, our study into the economy um, really helps students to understand lots of stuff that's going on in the news around them, perhaps stuff that they didn't understand before, but uh, really gives them an insight into way that, the way that our world works. In the business department, we work really hard to develop uh, a culture with our students of being business-like and professional in everything that we do. Um, this idea of business-like and professional was developed with our students. So the slide that's in front of you at the moment was developed by our year 13 students. Um, and it, it aims to encapsulate everything that we try and be um, as young business students. So, um, so, for example, we always try and produce our best work. So this is about working hard and doing our best work consistently, um, not every now and then, but always. Um, it's about hitting deadlines. It's about working well in groups with other people, whether that's pairs or bigger groups, sometimes taking a lead to run a group. Um, encouraging um, and respecting our colleagues and the other students in the group um, and uh, trying to get the best out of them as well as out of yourself. It's about being punctual, always being on time and hitting deadlines. Um, it's about being well equipped to do the job that you're in college to do, um, whether that's um, you know having the right folder equipment with you or the right textbook or um, the right homework. Um, it's about um, uh, checking and improving our work. So um, we're, we're never satisfied and we're always trying to drive ourselves forward to improve the work that we do. So we check and improve and upgrade our work wherever we can. Um, we always aim to impress. Um, so we're always looking to show the best side of ourselves. Um, and that's a real business skill. Uh, and we learn to use the language of business. Um, there are lots of words that are used in business context that when they're used in everyday uh, language, they mean something else. Um, we learn to use them in a business context um, and to do that confidently. And the last thing there um, is, I think, is, is really, really important. We always aim high. So we're always trying to drive ourselves forward to be better um, uh, better in the next assessment than we were in the last one, better in the next exam than we were in the first one, um, to write a better essay, uh, to draw better conclusions, uh, to contribute better in class. So we're always trying to aim, aim high. So just a little bit about our expectations of our students. Um, so first of all, um, I mentioned in the previous slide about making sure that you're always well equipped. Um, we expect you to have a folder and to be bringing it into college regularly. We expect you to buy and to be using and have access to a textbook. Sometimes you'll need to bring that into college with you as well. Um, you're going to need the obvious things for school equipment, paper, pens, calculator, etc. Um, but we expect you to be well equipped um, in your lessons. The next uh, little section is about independent study. So as well as the work that you do in class, um, a large proportion of the work that you do in your A-levels, you will do independently on your own, in your own time, maybe with a group of students, maybe with a partner. Um, but you need to be prepared to, uh, to, to be working in that way uh, and organised to be able to do that. That's going to mean um, making sure, for example, that you can access your school emails, that you've got access to show my homework, that you've got access to some IT equipment, whether that's at home or, or coming into school to use the school's equipment. It's also going to mean that you're going to need to, to be organised. Um, you're going to need to manage your own time. That's a, a business-like and professional expectation um, that you're able to do those things. 
Um, the last little note is about uh, the transition guide. Um, at the end of uh, this little session, I'll tell you about a, a piece of work that I'm going to ask you to do over the summer break. Um, it's going to be available on the shared area, also on Show My Homework and the website. So you can access it from different sources. And the deadline for that will be the first lesson uh, back in the new year after the summer break. So you'll be expected to hand in a, a booklet of transition work at that stage. The next part of our session today is going to involve you having a go at three activities. Um, they're fairly short activities, they take five to seven minutes each um, and uh, they're on the next three slides. Task number one is to get you thinking about doing something that in business we call analysis. Analysis is a really important skill um, and something that we practice over the two years of our course. It's really important for our exam and it's all about understanding something in lots and lots of detail and trying to explain it in lots of detail. Um, task one gets you thinking about the current situation. Many businesses have been effect, uh, affected um, in a dramatic way by the recent COVID crisis. What I want you to do is choose a business type and write a set of bullet points to explain how you think they might have been affected. Um, the business types you can choose from are supermarkets, hairdressers, professional sports clubs, online retailers or high street fashion stores. And what I'd like you to do is think about and try and write down 10 bullet points about how you think they might have been affected. Um, Try and extend your bullet points if you can um, by using words like which means that and for example um, to help you to fully explain. And then when you've, once you've done that, once you've got to 10 or, or a few more, um, I'd like you to think about overall whether you think that that business, that industry has been affected in a positive or a negative way. Um, you probably want to pause the video at this point and give yourself about seven minutes to have a go at this. Task two gets you thinking about a recruitment scenario, um, a business which is trying to recruit new staff. Uh, and in front of you, you've got um, some information about three candidates for a job. And what I want you to do is have a look at these three candidates and decide which of the three you would employ if it was your business. Um, I'd like you to explain why, um, but also um, to explain why you would be less inclined to recruit the other two. Again, you'll probably need to um, pause the video at this point and again, give yourself about five to seven minutes to complete the task. Task number three gets you thinking about um, a skill which we practice in business, which is looking at the knock on effects of things that happen in businesses. Very often when something happens in a business, um, it results in other things being impacted as well. Um, and we often use that sort of technique to explain our exam style answers. Um, what I want you to have a look at is um, a little case study for Mecca mobile phones. Um, and um, I want you to have a go at trying to look at what you think five to ten knock on effects could be of the scenario. Again, you'll need to pause the PowerPoint and uh, give yourself about five to seven minutes. So you should now have completed the three tasks. Just before we finish our session, I'm just going to talk very briefly about some things that I'd like you to bear in mind between now um, and when our lessons start in September. The first thing is that I'd like you to complete the transition booklet on the website. Um, so uh, please do that and please bring it to your first lesson uh, in September. Also be ready to buy the textbook um, you can do this via parent pay um, and that will be available for you to buy in September. But if you want to go onto Amazon, have a look at it, have a look at the reviews. There are some sample pages there that you can have a look through to get an idea about how the textbook works. Um, please, please do do that. Um, the next thing is I would really encourage you to be reading the newspaper between now and the beginning of your A-level lessons. Try and make yourself as current as possible in terms of what you're understanding about the world around you. So um, read a newspaper, particularly look at the business pages. You don't have, it doesn't have to be a, a print newspaper. You could look at uh, uh, a website for, for one of the, the major newspapers 
uh, or some other sort of uh, type of social media will work as well. Um, the last thing that I would encourage you to do is get ready your equipment. So make sure that you've got your pens and pencils and your calculator. Get yourself a folder ready and some dividers for that folder so that you're ready to go and be organised in, in September. Um, and really importantly, um, enjoy your summer. Um, I really look forward to, uh, to getting you all together as a group um, and um, hopefully when all of this COVID uh, stuff is out of the way, um, we can get back to some sort of normality and we very much look forward to seeing you in the classroom uh, very soon. Uh, and I'll see you in September. So that's it from me. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.